Hello and welcome, my name is Joko Pak and you're watching a ModStep tutorial video. I'm gonna show you how to add and remove instruments and effects. But before doing that, we actually need to add tracks. If you look here, you can see the add track and add scene functions. The tracks holds instruments and the scenes hold the MIDI information that you put in there. Now to remove tracks and scenes, you go to the edit menu, press edit and choose the paper basket icon. As you can see, you've got a red rim flashing around the screen and that means you're inside delete mode. Press a track and it gets highlighted in red. To confirm, press it again and it removes the track. Remember to exit edit mode before doing anything else. Now to add instruments, we've got a really neat instrument browser right there. Except from the two internal instruments that comes with ModStep, a drum sampler and a synthesizer, ModStep also supports inter-app audio instruments and audio units. To add an audio unit, you do the same thing as I did with the internal instruments. Tap and hold, drag it and drop it into the track. And when it's done loading, you can enter the instrument. And this is really neat. You get your audio unit popping up in a window like this. Now it's different with inter-app audio units. So let's load one of those and I'm gonna choose Propellerhead's Thor. Drag and drop and it will continue with loading. When it's loaded, it's going to open up the instrument. We can also load audio units or interrupt audio effects. Oh, and another neat thing is, when you've added an effect or instrument, you can actually drag these around. Now to remove an instrument or effect, just tap and hold and drag them away into the list and drop them. Now let's close down the browser and I want you to focus right down here into the lower right corner. You can see a button called Chain and this is where you get into the Chain mode where you can see the instruments and effects when you don't have the browser opened. Stay tuned for more videos. This is Jakob Hack signing off.